the mouth begins mechanical digestion as teeth tear the food and food is ground between the premolars and molars and the tongue manipulates the food uh, positioning it around these teeth and the food is mixed with saliva once the food is processed to become a soft bolus it is swallowed through the oropharynx laryngopharynx uh, down the esophagus to the stomach some chemical digestion also occurs in the mouth because saliva includes salivary amylase. This is an enzyme which will take the polysaccharide starch and break it into smaller dextrins. This enzyme can break up starch in the mouth and in the esophagus, but it will be inactivated by the acid of the stomach and so its action is short-lived. The exception to this would be after a big meal, where some salivary amylase would continue to be active in the fundus of the stomach. In the stomach, mechanical digestion continues as the carbohydrates are mixed with gastric juices to form chyme, which can then pass into the small intestine through the pyloric sphincter. This mechanical digestion is important because the carbohydrate molecules have been liberated from the mass of food and while they are in suspension they will now be accessed by the various enzymes of the small intestine which will perform chemical digestion. No chemical digestion of carbohydrates occurs in the stomach other than possibly the action of salivary amylase in the fundus because the stomach does not produce any enzymes which act on carbohydrates.